I propose that we reduce this budget under President's office by 82 billion shillings. Why? This money for ceremonies and classified expenditure is a candidate for reallocation. How on earth can we provide for 43 billion shillings for ceremonies when the road network in the capital city has broken down? The money for ceremonies should be spent on repairing roads in Kampala and Wakisu. In Tanzania, for your information, the late President uh, Magufuri, the only activity he undertook he undertook on the independence of Tanzania was a speech, and he said the money should be used to do roads in Dar es Salaam. The total budget for the residence of the president in this budget was 417.9 billion. This means that every day the president and his family, because they are the ones staying in the state house, they spend 1.1 billion. They spend 47.7 million per hour and uh, <coughs> 795,000 per minute. Before you pass figures, you need to look at the details. That's why some people are uncomfortable when you begin mentioning names, because they are used to just a small report. You can see this is one volume. They are about four. If you don't read them when you are debating the budget, keep quiet. The president operates two residences at Nakasero and Entebbe illegally. That's why his electricity bill at 500 million and water bill at 500 million per year is bigger than a big factory like roofing. Whatever they are manufacturing at State House, Allah knows. There is 550 million shillings to buy clothes. The same amount was provided Can last you? year. We are spending on average 1 million shillings on President clothes, on President President Yoel Museveni's clothes every day. Our president is not a staff from Hollywood requiring to change wardrobe every day. He's the president of a poor country. Why buy him clothes worth 350 million every year? What happened to the clothes that we bought last year? We are providing 600 million shillings for furniture. We provided the same amount last year. This residence has won itself a place in the history of Uganda. The beds in the public health facilities are not there. But the president is buying clothes and furniture every year.